and we're back on Darbone. Let me put you that way. Hey, uh, it's gonna be a great day, beautiful day. Looking forward to it. Uh, kind of, kind of very similar to yesterday. It's a, uh, it's gonna be cut. Not maybe not a bluebird day, but it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna put crappie in the boat. We're gonna try to learn this lake a little bit more. Uh, water temperatures still look to be roughly around 35 degrees. So uh, stick with us. Please subscribe. We're gonna put some big darbone fish in the water. And good morning. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, since this episode is about dissecting a new lake, how do you find crappie on a lake you don't know? And this is perfect because we've never been on Darbone other than yesterday. So we explore all the creek channels. So we go as far as we can away from the main body of water and we try to, we, we experience that first. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna start out here on the far creek channel and then we will make our way back to the main lake. That is the focus here at Darbone. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. Let's get it on. It's cold today, folks. A little colder, without a doubt. All right, when we go to a new lake, we always go to the main body first. We experienced that. That's what we did yesterday. Didn't have much luck. I mean, we actually caught, we caught some decent fish, but at the end of the day, we were a little disappointed. So we said, let's go back to the creek and let's work our way back to the main body of water. And what we found in these creeks, as you see Mark pulling one in right here, Marcus pulling one right here, is that they just weren't big fish. Now we saw boats and we're thinking, oh, somebody's gotta be catching some fish. Of course we were thinking that, but we're like, we were catching smaller fish. And we realized pretty quickly that we needed to get back to the main lake. We thought that was a big mark. Boy, I just wonder if they spawned out. It's just really weird. We'll be seeing that on the website. I will tell you about these hair jigs, folks. These hair jigs that I'm going to be putting out on my website, they're made by me personally. They're not going to be perfect. You'll like them. Uh, you can just check it on the jigs pile. <laughs> we think we're getting big fishing. It's not happening right now so but uh great day darbone 15,000 acre lake man-made a lot of fun so far we got a lot more fishing left to do so one really important thing about you know dissecting a lake is that you're going to move a lot a lot and it's not necessarily about catching fish right now you want to figure out what baits are working but at the end of the day it's more about understanding the lake understanding where the fish are at and what is working so um, catching fish is secondary although we did improve every single day you're going to see some big fish going in the boat here shortly we thought that was going to be a monster <laughs> That guy came from the bottom. Holy mackerel. That's a smooth half pound crappie right there, folks. New area. We moved. New were fun. We enjoyed you. Gosh dang. worked on this fish a while. That's our big fish right now. Swing it in the boat. That's well, proof now that you can work in a fish. Good job, Marcus. Bam. And eggs. Boom. Dude, this one. Heck yeah. That was beautiful. Teamwork on that one. That thing. 169. Okay. All right, whoa, 169 doesn't sound like a lot, right? I get it. 
but you don't start at two pounders on a lake. We started at small fish, we're now at 1.69, we're trying to get bigger, and what we're doing is we're looking at the maps on our Garmin unit, which are fantastic by the way, and we're identifying characteristics of this point and we're trying to find other areas on this lake that look just like it. And that's how it starts. And this bite right here also identified or helped us understand that the fish will bite at it if we throw at it for a long period of time. And we threw at this fish, folks, for 15 minutes before it bit. <laughs> that was fun. So it is worth, it is worth sticking with it. Yeah, for sure. Mark. That was behind the back. <laughs> we get this. Bam! Got eggs. This is day two crap. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's fun. All right, first and foremost, we do not eat healthy on this boat. Pringles, Cheetos, Oreos, you name it. That's what we eat. But hey, we're breaking down this lake right now, right? So we're looking for similar things that we saw when we were catching fish. And Marcus identified this one spot and we actually went to it. And we saw a ton of marks on it. And we were like, man, this is really good. Now we didn't get many to bite, although we did have a few. We said, we're gonna start here in the morning. We're gonna check this place out. We're gonna see whether or not this is the ticket. That's what we do. We keep changing baits to see uh, what triggers the bite. I'm a big believer in downsizing, but here that might not be the case. Maybe they want something bigger, but vibration is a big deal. I am going to switch to a curly tail now and then a paddle tail. We're on a completely different side of the lake now. Maybe these fish are acting differently. Nice homes around this lake. I didn't realize it was so residential around the lake. I mean, they're gonna be folded. All right, we're gonna take you to a restaurant, show you a little bit about uh, Farmersville and uh, have a little fun. We're start stopping a little early today and we got a good plan for tomorrow and no sense in killing ourselves. Good times! What kind of restaurant? What kind? A Cajun restaurant. I'm very excited. The one we're, you wanted to That's go the to. the reason I wanted to come down here. <laughs> to eat. Besides the one I'm talking about. All right, so we're about to go get something to eat, run some errands, but I was going to kind of give you an idea of what we've got our boat set up for right now. Doing uh, hair jigs, so here's a look at them real quick. Big assortment of hair jigs. We are messing with every one of them this trip, it seems like. And uh, right now, oddly enough, white and a chartreuse or yellow head seems to be doing the trick. So roughly got about uh, six, seven rods in the, in the boat that we're fishing with and uh, have not netted a fish yet. Cause you just don't need to when you got a three pound fishing lead series, right? <laughs> So uh, anyway, we're going to head out and uh, casting. Everything's going on. Take you into the restaurant that we're going to go to. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. All right, we're at Rhett's Tails and Shells. And uh, man, it looks like a great place. On the water, check it out. Doing good. Wait for mine. Yeah.
How about that, folks? Check out my friends right here. From Southwest Missouri? Yep. There you go. So, great day on the water. Check it out, right on the water here. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Check this out, folks. Marcus is just crushing this food. But I'll tell you what, we've got a spot that is hot. We feel good about it. In the next two days, we crush it.